A washed out bridge is causing traffic headaches right now for some severe county drivers. It's a mess. We showed you the video earlier this week when Jones Cove Road near Wilhite Road flooded and then collapsed. TDOT shut it down indefinitely. Six on your sides, Elizabeth Kubel went back to Sevier County today to talk to drivers that typically take that route now having to readjust. New video gives us an overhead view of the Sevier County Bridge collapse. The Jones Cove Road Bridge buckled from heavy rain two days ago. It's really bad right now. The bridge is completely gone. For Candy Klein, that is particularly impactful. She takes this stretch of road to and from work every day. I own a first stand in Cosby, so this is the easiest route for me instead of going through Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge, and all the traffic there. For now, she's having to take alternate routes and back roads. It takes on a good 20, 25 minutes depending on traffic, so get to work a little later, but that's okay. <laughs> and as she readjusts, TDOT crews are on site. We watched trucks pull up to the closed road today. I had no words when it first happened. I couldn't believe it happened, but it has needed work done. You know, it needs work done, so hopefully this will solve that issue. Documents reveal the same. A report from earlier this year gives bridges sufficiency ratings. The Jones Cove Road Bridge scored a 22.9 out of 100. A score below 50 qualifies bridges for replacement. I hope they get it fixed better. We don't have any more problems like this. I also reached out to the Sevier County School System and I'm told that the Director of Transportation is working with bus drivers whose routes are impacted by this bridge collapse. They also tell me that they are planning to let parents know final details next week. Reporting in Sevier County, I'm Elizabeth Kubel, WATE 6 on your side. Oh goodness, such a mess out there. TDOT put detours in place for drivers to get around that closed road. We have the alternate routes for both eastbound and westbound traffic posted on our website. WATE.com.